Hi, I'm Emmy, and today I'm going to show you how to make a basic fiberglass mould. Fiberglass can irritate the skin, so it's important to wear gloves and a boiler suit, as well as a mask such as this one to avoid breathing in any harsh chemicals. Before beginning fiberglassing, I'm going to use MAC wax on my mould. This is a sprayable release agent, which will ensure that my two fiberglass halves will not stick together. You will need to apply several layers of your release agent, ensuring each layer is completely dry before applying the next layer. Before beginning, it's important to understand the measurements that you'll be using. For every 50 grams of gel coat or resin, you'll need to use 1 milliliter of catalyst. Likewise, if you're using 100 grams, you need 2 milliliters of catalyst. The next step is to apply your gel coat. The purpose of the gel coat is to pick up all of the detail on your mould. My mould is only small, so I'm only measuring out 50 grams of my gel coat. Because I'm using 50 grams, that means I'm only going to use one milliliter of catalyst. Once you've measured it out, you need to mix it thoroughly. Now that you have mixed your gel coat thoroughly, you are ready to apply it. Using a brush, apply a thin coat over the surface of your mould, ensuring that it is even. Once you have applied your gel coat evenly, it should look like this. You need to wait for your gel coat to become tacky before applying fiberglass. The next step is to apply your layers of fiberglass. To do this, you need to measure out the resin just as you did for your gel coat. I'm measuring out 50 grams of my resin, which I will mix with 1 milliliter of catalyst. Like before, you need to mix this thoroughly before you can apply it. Now that your resin is mixed thoroughly, you can begin to build up your fiberglass layers. I am going to begin with a layer of fiberglass tissue. Beginning with tissue is a personal preference, however many people use matting to begin with. Using matting will not cause you to lose any detail as this is what your gel coat is for. Before applying your fiberglass, you need to saturate it first. To do this, you stipple on your resin using a brush. Once you've saturated your tissue or matting, place it on your mould. Using a stippling motion, try and remove any air bubbles. Continue this method until you have covered your mould, trying not to overlap them too much. I'm now doing my second layer using matting. You use the same method as you did before with the tissue to apply a matting layer.
I usually do four layers overall, so with the matting I applied two layers. The final layer is going to be fibreglass tissue. This is to make the outer mould smoother. To apply this, use the same saturating and stippling method as before. Leave the mould overnight to fully cure. Thank you for watching my tutorial and check out part 2 where I demonstrate how to break open your mould.